Hello. Thank you for joining me. My name is Alvin Curry, and we've been talking about how do I choose my economy versus the economy, the U.S. economy, or the federal government, or maybe even our ministries and different things. We spend our money on a lot of stuff. And every time we do, we're helping someone's economy to grow and prosper. Let me ask you a question. Those of you that are spiritually in your life, have you ever read a scripture that says the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous? It's going to be a great wealth transfer one day. What is that wealth transfer? Many people I meet in the spiritual world, they are waiting for some event to happen. I want to tell you today, ladies and gentlemen, that there is no such event that's going to one day just happen and all the wealth going to shift from where it is to your account and all that. I don't believe that. But what I do see, God has blessed me to be in the financial world now for more than 37 years. And I see wealth transfer on a daily basis. Wealth leaving the hands of one person going to another. When you go out and purchase a car, your money leaves your hand and it transfers to the car dealership or the finance company who financed that car. That is wealth transfer. But let me tell you a major one that affects all of us and it kind of escaped probably 97, 98% of Americans without ever even knowing what was going on. And so I want to talk today to you about what I call the great Wealth transfer, the most massive wealth transfer via federal income taxes. In 2017, then president at that time, Trump and the team, they uh, enacted a law called the Tax Cut and Job Act. Now, no matter where you stand on this issue, I'm not here to be political. I want you to just think about what this means. In 2017, the corporate tax rate was 38%. When they enacted that law in December of 2017, it went into effect. And in 2018, the new corporate tax rate was 21%. That means based on their profits, a corporation would pay 38% of their profits in 2017. And in 2018, they would pay 21%. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. In 2017, just to make math easy, if a corporation had a million dollars, now remember many of them had billions of dollars, millions of dollars, $1 million profit in 2017, 38% tax rate would mean they would pay $380,000 in taxes. One year later, 2018, if that same company had a million dollars in profit, now they would pay 21%. That's $210,000. That's $170,000 net savings or wealth transfer. Now, why do you say wealth transfer, Alvin? Because those were tax dollars going into the U.S. budget. And you hear them all the time talk about balancing this budget. And what do they need to cut? Well, they cut the tax rate for the wealthiest Americans who are making billions of dollars. If you extend that out to a billion dollars, then on a billion dollars, a corporation would have had 38% tax rate in 2017. That means they'd have had $380 million in taxes. 2017, 2018, that would have went to 21%. It had $210 million. They would have saved $170 million. Now, that's technically 44% of the taxes they were paying, they, they got cut. Ask yourself this question in your home. Let's take you as an individual. You earn $5,000 a month. You go out and you work hard. You're trying to pay your bills. You're struggling, trying to make ends meet. Trying to figure it all out. So on that, you have your regular bills that you have, and they range somewhere from $3,000 to $3,500 a month. 
because you got to pay taxes and do all those things. So you you can't really have, if you make $5,000 a month, you can't really have $5,000 of bills. So now when you pay your bills, something happened during this pandemic, during this critical time, because remember 2018 was pre-pandemic. Then we had pandemic happen in 2020. Many people went through the pandemic and businesses grew, but many of you lost jobs and you had to readjust and go find new jobs. You were cut off, cut back, laid off, did all those things. So now let's say you found a job that was 40% less than what you were earning pre-pandemic. That means now you're earning $36,000 a year. Not $65,000 a month is $60,000 a year. $3,000 a month is $36,000 a year. That's 40% less. Because remember, you got a tax. They, they, we gave them a tax cut. The laws of the land gave them a tax cut of 40%. So now if you cut your lifestyle, your income, by 40%, you still couldn't cut your bills. So since you didn't cut your bills, now you're trying to figure out how do I pay $3,500 of bills on $3,000 a month? It can't be done. Neither can the budget of the U.S. government be paid when 40%, 44% to be more exact, of the tax dollar revenue that was going in was taken out because of the Job Act and tax and cut bill of 2017. See, it doesn't matter how you agree or disagree with that. That did not get passed on, as they were saying. It's going to cause big businesses to create more jobs and more this, and you were going to make more money. That's not true. It did not happen. And so today, we're struggling. I call that wealth transferred. The wealth of the wicked got transferred to somebody else. Well, if you want to know how to transfer your, get wealth transfer going in your life, we have a system that I like to introduce you to. Have you ever heard of a system called income shifting? Here at my econ, we teach a system called income shifting. That's a strategy to increase your cash flow, increase your money, help you decrease your debts, and create investment opportunities. Because at the end of the day, we've really been talking about how do you get to retirement and have some money? How do you fix your economy? Income shifting is how you're going to fix your economy. So ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to learn more about income shifting and how do you fix your economy when your income has been adjusted, in most cases, downward, and the economy has kept going, getting higher and higher and higher and things going up more and more, if you want to have a conversation about that, reach out to me at trustalvincurry.com or you can reach out to me directly through LinkedIn and we can have a conversation. I want to thank you for having this conversation with me today for sharing in this video with me today. Again, I can be reached at trustalvincurry.com or you can find me on LinkedIn and we can have a conversation. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a great day.